All right, what up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Another episode of the Crypto Breakdown. I am your host, Ryan Mehta. Topic of the day, bullish versus bearish divergence using the RSI indicator. In my personal opinion, there is no better indicator for trading crypto than RSI. This should be your best friend. This would be the first and only indicator that I spent a large, a large amount of time mastering. This is one of the indicators that I personally didn't understand. I always thought that I needed to buy a better indicator. There was always gonna be this next best indicator that would make me the greatest trader in the world. Lazy guys, that was my dumb money brain thinking that I could buy an indicator that would give me trades and let me know when I should enter and exit these trades, I promise you guys, do not waste your money. Do not waste your money. No indicator is going to make you a great trader. No indicator is going to make you the world's best trader. And the better you get at understanding the charts and reading RSI and understanding bullish and bearish divergence, the better trader you're gonna become. This is one of those things that I was, that Kite taught me. And I didn't really understand how valuable this was as far as finding those perfect entry and exit points for trades. That being said, we are in a downtrending market, so the RSI plays a little bit different, but as far as spotting divergence and keep points for reversals, I think the RSI is going to be your best friend. So I wanna show you guys this, I wanna dive into it pretty deep. Get ready, buckle those seats, we're gonna dive in, we're gonna dive down the rabbit hole, let's go. So depending on what time frame or how you're actually trading, when I'm looking for bearish and bullish divergence, I come over to the RSI and I wanna change my settings to 125. That way it's going to take readings from the last 125 days. I wanna remove all my drawings from both charts. It's very important that you have the right RSI so personally, I split my chart in two. I come over here, I double click Bitcoin, that way it puts it on both charts. I wanna make sure that when I click on both charts that I actually have candles set the same. Now, personally, when we're in a downtrending market, I like to use the regular candles. When we're in an uptrending market, I like to use the Heikinashi candles, and we can use them both and just go back and forth. A lot of people like to use the Heikinashi candles so we can rock out with that. But I can't do replays with the Heikinashi candles. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to spot RSI. This way you guys can have like a little training video on it. So I'm gonna make sure that I have regular candles on both charts. We're gonna jump on to the five minute because the five minute as far as spotting RSI and divergence is huge. So I'm just gonna kind of walk through the chart. We're gonna come up over here, we're gonna maximize RSI. And the RSI indicator is just, you come over here, you type in RSI. It's relative strength index, not RSI strategy, not corners RSI, not any of these other, it's just the relative strength index. It's the one comes stock from trading view. So again, we just wanna make sure that we have Bitcoin and the same candles. And you can see up here at the top, your candles, I wanna make sure that my candles over here are not Heiken Ashi. I just wanna make sure we have regular candles on both charts. Now we're looking for divergence. So I'm gonna come over here. We have RSI added on the right side and I'm just gonna maximize this so it takes up the whole screen. And we're looking for key areas of reversals. Now take a look at this guys. This is a really, really good example. Right here, I see RSI making lower highs. And what do I see price doing? Price over here making equal highs. What does that tell you? Personally, I love this cheat sheet. This is probably my favorite go-to. This is my go-to right here. And I'm gonna share this. This will be posted on my Instagram today. As soon as we get done, I'm gonna post this and then come over here and also read altcoiner A versus altcoiner B. That's a really good one. So we see RSI making lower highs and we see price making equal highs. We jump over here at our cheat sheet we see price making equal highs and we see RSI making lower highs. Bearish divergence. This is reversal divergence. So we can see what happened. Price reversed at that key level and price is now down over two and a half percent 
in three hours and 45 minutes. This is one of your best friends and I can't really explain it any better than that. You need to be able to look at RSI, especially on a five minute time frame. When I'm looking to figure out when I wanna exit a trade, it was really obvious right here that there is a major divergence between those two points. And then I come over here and I look at price and it's really obvious. I mean, the, right here, this price peak right here is so close to all of these right here versus how what the difference is over here on RSI. So it doesn't have to be, I mean, dead perfect on. If I draw a horizontal line, I mean, it's pretty freaking close to being dead on. Now, if I go right here to that peak right there, like I can see that there's a big difference. I'm still making equal highs right here on price and I'm making drastically lower lows over here on divergence. And the only way to get good at this, and I still personally, to this day, I always jump over here and take a look at my cheat sheet. It's my best friend. You guys can see this on my Instagram. I'll post it there as soon as I get done with this video. And there's no real way to get good at it be besides just to continuously jump over here and just keep an eye on RSI. Now let's see if we can go down a little bit farther and find any other key places where RSI made a big impact. So over here we have another double top. See right here, I double topped here on price. And I see RSI over here making higher highs. So what does that show us? Double top right here, hidden continuation divergence. Right here, I double top on price. RSI is making higher highs, bearish divergence. And what happens? price instantly pushes to the downside. Down three and a half percent, guys. I could have taken out a short right there, rode that down three and a half percent, bam, got out of that trade. All right, now I'll take a look down here. What do we see here? I mean, this one's really, really obvious. So right here, what do we see? RSI, RSI making higher lows, and we see price making lower lows. Do you see the difference there? I would bet you that this is bullish divergence. RSI making higher lows, RSI making higher lows, price making lower lows. Price making lower lows, RSI making higher lows. Bullish reversal divergence. And what happens? Price reverses. Price reverses right here instantly. As soon as that divergence was printed right there, bam, on the five minute chart. And how high did price go up? almost 5%, guys. This indicator alone, understanding divergence. There will be no indicator that makes a bigger impact and makes you a better, more consistent, more profitable trader than understanding divergence on the using the RSI indicators. No need to buy market cipher and no need to buy, you know, global trading solutions, anything, guys. This indicator alone, it's free. It'll make you a hundred times better of a trader. I promise you, a majority of these indicators out there are just, in my opinion, they're scams. They prey on vulnerable people. They prey on people's and you guys know me, I was super adamant about getting my own indicators created. And there are several indicators that I think will add a lot of value to your trading style. And I would love to have one created where it just shows this RSI and could actually map out these divergences for you, something like that. But other than that, personally, like I just feel like that no indicator I've ever used, and I've bought $3,000 indicators and I've bought $100 indicators and I've bought $500 indicators. I don't use any of them. <laughs> I'm always resorting back to just the free indicators of keeping it back to the basics, guys. I've gotten so much better at trading when I stopped taking trades using expensive indicators.
So that's a wrap on the RSI indicator, guys. I promise you guys, I became such a better trader when I stopped relying on indicators to give me entry and exit points on trades. I use them all separately. I look for divergence. I love the RSI, it's my favorite, but as far as $3,000 indicators go or taking trades because an indicator gave me an alert or there's a blood diamond or whatever, those things are just signs of confirmation. So when I get an alert, maybe I get a blood diamond on Market Cipher or Wu Manchu gives me a blood diamond. I wanna go back and I wanna look at the charts, I wanna pull up the RSI, I wanna pull up price, I wanna be able to read the, I wanna be able to take in so much more data. I don't ever wanna just take a trade because an indicator told me, one indicator told me. Now you combined all of these different indicators and you have six, seven signs of confirmation, that's awesome. That's when you really have good trades and you can actually and you can actually take those trades. But unless you understand RSI and understand when your coin is overbought or oversold or if there's bearish divergence, bearish reversal divergence, you're gonna wanna exit those trades at key levels. You have to be able to understand how to read these charts. No indicator is going to do it for you. And the better you get at reading the charts, the better you get at using indicators because you can actually turn those indicators on as a sign of confirmation to already confirm the assumption or the hypothesis or whatever it is that you've already concluded yourself. You just use indicators as signs of confirmation. You enter a trade because that's what you wanna do or you think price is going in that direction or whatever the case may be. You use signs of confirmation to help you determine when the odds are more in your favor. So when I have six different indicators and I get signs, all signs of confirmation, those are the trades where I can add four, five, or 10X leverage. Trades that I don't have, or maybe trades I only have a couple signs of confirmation, those are the trades where if I even wanna take the trade at all, I'm more than likely not going to use a really high leverage because I don't have enough signs of confirmation. Needless to say, I personally, I only chart, I only trade with RSI, Bollinger Bands, if I use Bollinger Bands, and sometimes Vu Manchu, Market Cipher B. Those are my favorite indicators that I kind of mix up, but a majority of trades that I'm taking right now in this downtrending market, I am using just RSI, that's it. So I love you squad, I appreciate you guys. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Again, I'll get that posted over on my Instagram right now. If you guys could do me a favor, smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, head over to Instagram, smash that follow button. And let's crush it going into this bear market, guys. We got the DCA game plan, the meta method, the spreadsheets there. I showed you guys how to take $20,000 investing into Cardano and turn it into a little over 500,000 just off taking profits all the way up. You guys will hold on to 55% of your altcoins going into the next bear market. You don't have to sell everything at peak. The strategy there, the meta methods there. Let's go squad, love you guys. Can't wait to see you guys in the live streams. As soon as we get them back up and running, we'll be back up and running around July 2nd. Love you guys, peace. <laughs>